Now, how to really have this close personal worship with God? First is our daily conversation with God. The conversation appreciation of God. When whatever you experience, whatever you're doing, we can see God's work around us. And like when God talks to us, we say, Thank you, God, you have talked to me. You know, every night when I pray, God, God, uh, God talked to me. And I really appreciate God. I said, God, you're so good. And your ideas, the ideas that you gave me is so wonderful. So I always have this personal conversation with him. So when you're used to that, and really believe God is right here. No, and if we have spiritual eyes. Jesus would be here. Yes, Christ on Ariwano. And the angels will be here. Bamalai Kabariwano. And Jesus will be smiling and very happy. Ne Christo again upanga sanyuka eranga akulaba. So we respond with feelings. Banange e kut to damu chino chaba to kozenga twewa yo blamba febo na. First you can do it at home. You can do something like this. Thank you, Lord. When I pray to you, give me peace. You take away my burdens. When I read the Bible, it's so beautiful. And it has so many promises. So the first thing is learn to respond with feelings. Now I want to say many people's feelings are blocked. Many people lose the ability to smile or to laugh. Or to be happy. The reason is from childhood. Many children have been forbidden to cry or to laugh. And then we hold back our feelings. And then when we grow up, when we see something good, we don't show happiness. This is something that needs to be restored. Now let me tell you my wife. She's really something. She can really show her emotions, her feelings. You know, like sometimes I said to her, uh, uh, do you want to go out tonight? She would laugh like a little girl. <laughs> but she would say, And then when we're walking, we <laughs> went to Ambula. Sometimes she would be, you know, jumping. <laughs> And then I jump with her. When I say I want to do something with her, she's laughing with her whole body. She's really free with her feelings. Now many people cannot do that. Because our heart has been suppressed too much. Now these feelings are very important in leading worship, in worshiping, and in preaching and sharing. And in our personal relationship with people too. You notice some people, you talk to them, no, no response. No feeling. 
It's hard for these people to have good friends because they never show their feelings. Now you might know this in my preaching, in my teaching. I show a lot of feelings, right? Now what I want to say is there are things we can do to restore the feelings. First, anything you like the food or the drink or the people we tell ourselves without these friends my life would be very different without the food if I don't have this food my life would be very different so I'm very happy I have these friends and the food and the church and then you tell yourself I I can be thankful for that. And then the level we give thanks. There are different levels. Now first the mind as as remember I talk about the spirit and the soul. The soul has the mind, the will and the feelings. First, my mind say, wow, it's wonderful to have these people. Many people out there don't have real friends, you know, because Christian friends are more honest, more helpful. But so our mind will say, this is wonderful. I thank God for that. The mind will say, it's wonderful to have God. And the will to say, I really want to thank God and serve God. And the feeling is, yes, I can be happy. We can start to smile and laugh. Aha! I'm so happy. <laughs> and you start to do that. Or say thanks to people. We can tell our mind to start to be thankful and be happy. Now when you are praising God. Other than just dancing. You can just also <laughs> smile at the same time and laugh at the same time. And be aware of our feeling any time. How to handle our negative feelings. So that our feelings will be healthy. Joyful. Day by day, our subconscious mind will be healed. Then we will we'll be more joyful. And more thankful. And then when we lead worship. We can respond to God with feelings. First, we get used to doing it at home. When you're at home praying, you can imagine Jesus standing right in front of you. I thank you, Jesus, to come to my home. I want to be I want you to be with me. I want you to speak to me. I want you to change me. I want you to 
give me more joy and more strength and help me to be more free when we are used to talking to God like that when you leave worship you can also begin to to do that. It's not superficial. It's from the heart. And believe that when we are doing it, God is really listening and happy. So you can start saying like, Oh Jesus, you're so wonderful. Now notice my voice is very expressive. Now listen to my voice again. Oh Jesus, you're so wonderful. Oh yes, So put it more feelings. I like you, Jesus. Now can you say it with this feelings? With me? Okay, take a move. Now stand up and close your eyes. Jesus, you're so wonderful. Jesus, you're so wonderful. Bambi Chikoli. I love you. I love you. Now you put in more feelings too. Now give us a minute. Oh, Jesus, Lord. Oh, yes. I like you, Lord. Oh, Yesu. Ah, yes. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh. Hallelujah. Welcome, Jesus. Welcome, Jesus. <laughs> we welcome you into our hearts. I enjoy you. I enjoy you. My Lord. Come on. Jesus. Yes. You're my best friend. You're my everything. Where will you do your name? Oh, come on. I can relax in your eye. <laughs> no more burdens. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, let us love Jesus. Let us love Jesus. Let us love Jesus. Let us love Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you so much. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, in between the songs, you can have these spiritual songs an expression of love. Amen. Because when I think of personally, but when Jesus, <laughs> his joy would just keep coming. <laughs> now this is something you can work on every day. Because, <laughs> let me tell you, in the past when I pray, I just pray like this. God, please help me. Please be with me. Just saying it. Now, when I first became a Christian, I noticed when I sang, it was different. When I sang, it was different. It was more free. Is it new? Wonderful. Is it wonderful? Is it Jesus, my Lord? Wonderful. So I, I feel more free than in a prayer. But now I learn in a prayer. I learn in a prayer. I can be very direct. This idea of direct prayer 
Jesus King of Jesus standing right here. Jesus, one day I'll see you face to face. Yes, and you are here, you are blessing me. Oh, Prepare me for that day. I'm so happy you guide me every day. You help me every day. You talk to me every day. You set me free every day. So when we get used to this very personal talking, now, even when we talk with our friends or, or spouse, sometimes we talk like this, you can sit down. Sometimes we can talk like this, oh, please wash the dishes. Thank you for doing this. So sometimes we talk just normal. But sometimes we can talk like this. You know, after I thought about it, I'm so very blessed to have you. It's very special to have you. And I really appreciate you. And I like everything you've done for me. Now, do you ever try to talk to people very personally like that? And then when you do that, then you can learn to speak to God like that too. When you think of the people around you, we can think of their shortcomings. But they all have their goodness. You know, they stay with us. They work for us. They take care of us to a certain extent. They care about us to a certain extent. And when we think about it, if we don't have them, the life will be very different. So we can learn to say things very personal to them. And then it will help us to talk to God very personally. I talk to my wife very personally all the time. And I talk to God very personally all the time. And I notice a difference right away. Now, I have demonstrated two kinds of prayer for people even now. And I lay hand on someone. And I pray like this. I say, God, please help us. Heal our body. Give us strength. Um, and they said they didn't feel anything. But if I do this, oh Lord, you're right here. You're blessing us. So blessed to have you. And you care about us. I like you, Lord. I like you, Lord. When I do this, people feel power, stronger power. So I hope it's something you work on. Very personal from the heart. Very appreciative. And compare if we don't have God, how different would it be? So we'll be very appreciative. Very thankful and very happy to be expressive. Oh, I like you, Lord. Oh, I'm so happy. So this way, it will help us. It can also bring revival. It's not just singing. It's leading people to like God and have a very close relationship with God. And believe in the responses of God all the time. Okay. Any question about this? 
I know it's something you cannot do it right away. Now also, uh, let me tell you, my training in voice has helped me. The reason why I'm so expressive because of the training in voice, in, in resonance. The reason why? The reason why I can say the words with such a, so many expressions is because of my training in vocal, in resonance. Now you can stand up with me to practice a little bit. Now I want to say that when I demonstrate how I use my voice, you don't follow, you don't say it with me. The reason is, when I sing, sometimes I do it and everyone's do it and then you cannot hear me. So when I do it, you listen to me. And then, sometimes I say, follow me. And then when I start to you know, sing a note and then you follow me. But when I stop, don't stop because I want to hear you. Okay. The voice of resonance is something like this. Number Now my voice is not very good today, but have you pay attention, you notice that it's not just no. 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 Okay, now watch me. Now, does it sound like yawning? Does it sound like yawning? Because I'm opening up inside. Oh, 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 oh. Like that. <laughs> so every day you practice yawning at home. Oh, oh, oh. It's opening the inside, not the outside. Kagadi will walk it up. Oh, oh, oh. No more, no more, no more. I will eat now, explain to them, you know, the roof of our mouth has two parts. The front part cannot move. Here. The back part can move up. Now look at my mouth. Can you see it? Is it bright enough? Can you see it inside? Mm -hmm. Okay, now watch me. Watch first in the rest position and then I lift it up. Mm -hmm. Watch me. Can you see it go up? Mm -hmm. Can you describe to them? And there we are, Malaka. Yes. Okay. Now, when you practice yawning, when we we yawn, we lift it up. We're lifting it up. And then what you do at home? Watch here. Watch this. What is it? Let the voice go up. Let the breath go up.
Okay. Now listen. Now when I use the voice to talk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, 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 Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Then you can put in different expressions in the voice. Okay. Now there's something for your practice. At home you do this. So you keep singing, you know, with high up. It's like this. We sing one note. Stay up. Now, listen. This is the wrong way. Can you just hear it going down? Yeah. Can you hear it all up there? Okay, we don't care if you don't get up. We don't get up. Oh, baby, mama. Say, mama, mama. You have um. The young is full. I'm sorry. Let me tell you. You have a voice that's like this. You are using um, not a real voice. It's, you you say like, oh, um, no, no. This is a false voice. You know, do it really you. But then, oh, oh, it's the real sound like when you're talking. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay. Oh, hallelujah. Okay. Okay. Now, okay, please be seated. So this is something you can go home and do. Wait for me to go once. I like this tea and give me one.